Hi everyone, it's been a while since uh, Vertical Earth Gardens has done a video, but we've been getting a, a lot of good feedback, a lot of people subscribing to the YouTube channel, so we want to say thanks. Um, this video actually today is uh, about our system versus a lot of other kits that you can buy online. Um, more specifically, garden towers, uh, the garden towers that look like buoys. Uh, I want to make a clear distinction between what we do and what they do and the difference. Um, first of all, with our garden, there are no drippers or sprayers. So these plants are actually getting fed by a half inch tube, which is pretty large compared to a drip line. So nothing clogs, the water can flow through, flow th freely, and the return is a two inch return. So there's not a lot of places that stuff can get clogged. I'm talking about particulate, uh, root matter, um, you know, the cocoa fiber, nothing gets clogged. And you can see there's no drippers, no sprayers, just a thin stream of water. And then we have our grow sponge and our roots that actually uh, absorb the water through water tension. So rather than having roots dangling and a mister spraying them, uh, ours just uses water tension and a grow sponge uh, that touches the bottom of the channel. Uh, and why this is such a big advantage is uh, drippers and spray nozzles clog constantly. We have a cloner at, uh, at our yard and we constantly clean the spray nozzles on it. So if you're running any type of organic nutrients which are becoming bigger for hydroponics, uh, drippers and sprayers won't cut it. And also, it, it's way less complicated, you know. The areas uh, that you have to check when your garden's not working are just the half inch in going straight from the pump and the return two inch out rather than a network or spider's web of drippers, sprayers. If you guys have ever done irrigation for a home, it's a nightmare. So we like to keep things simple uh, and we think we did a pretty good job of doing that by eliminating the drippers and sprayers. Um, the other advantage we have to having our vertical gardens is you can attach multiple gardens to one reservoir. Uh, with other systems out there, it's usually one reservoir uh, per garden, which means one pump per garden, which means if you have two gardens, you have two pumps, three gardens, three pumps. Uh, ours, you can just split off one pump, which is nice. One pump, less room for air, and uh, and also you can move these freely. They're all on caster wheels and they're separate from the reservoir, so they're not that hard to move back and forth. Uh, if you ever need more light, if you're ever moving, um, and the water, of course, you can drain out separately from the garden. But uh, anyways, that was just a video explaining the differences uh, between our vertical garden and a lot of vertical gardens you guys are seeing out there. Uh, thanks.